What's up guys? So Apple released their iOS 10 public release beta 1. I started on my other iPhone 6 Plus and I noticed that it was actually a usable beta. So I decided to make this video to show you guys how to install it. And I'm also going to make a video to show you how to uninstall it. I want you to check the description box. There's going to be a list of compatible devices. Oh, and make sure you don't forget to hit that like button and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing you want to do is back up your device. You're going to have to get a computer that has iTunes installed on it. In this video, I'm going to use my 12 inch MacBook. Once you have your phone plugged in, you want to open up iTunes. You're going to go to the upper left corner and click on your iOS device. You're going to want to switch the backup from store into your iCloud to your computer. So you switch it to your computer and then you hit backup now. Now this is going to take a few minutes. Once your phone is backed up, you're going to open up Safari and you're going to go to beta.apple.com. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to either sign up or sign in using your Apple ID. If you haven't enrolled into this program, you're going to hit sign up. After you sign in, you're going to see this screen. What you're going to want to do is go up to the top and hit enroll your device. Now you're going to scroll down to step two and hit download profile. Now you install the profile, first you have to accept the license agreement. And then it's going to prompt you to restart your phone. Once your phone is restarted, you're going to unlock your phone and you're going to find your settings app. You're going to scroll down to general and you're going to hit your second tab, which is software update. You should see the iOS update available. You're going to hit download and install. You're going to agree to the terms and conditions. Now you're going to have to wait for the download. For me, it took seven minutes, but it's all going to depend on your Wi-Fi connection. When the update finishes, you're going to get this prompt. You want to hit install now. When the update finishes, you're going to see this screen. Now you can go ahead and set up your phone. Because we did an update, you're going to have all of your data. As you can see, we're running iOS 10. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and take it up.